Good morning. We're getting ready to do this, or at least um, the guys that helped me are fixing to do that. And uh, I've got this electric furnace right here. This is a downflow. If y'all see this, and um, it's got a huge compartment for a coil, which makes me think that this one electric furnace is made for basically any trailer system so i'm gonna try to do that right now i'm in a little bit of pain so i'm gonna do my best to get that done today and i'm probably gonna have some more so stay tuned here it comes Well, I got out here to pump this thing down and that's what I found. I can't pump it down. So I'm gonna have to pull a vacuum on my drum real quick and then recover all the freight. While this is going on, I can, I got some other stuff that I can do. My vacuum ought to be doing. Yeah. microns all right I got all this hooked up <clears throat> all right open this up so if I knock me out of space in the wall at 61 inches this should slide right in there and I think I'm gonna have plenty of width all of these are 20 inches wide this right here that's just lovely
all right recovery's finished we can pull this coal out about what I'm going to have to build. Fourteen by twelve. Mm -hmm. I expected the twelve. Twelve. That's what I expected. by it looks like almost 12 Hmm. All right, that's a that's almost done. That gives me a, a base to screw my new plywood to. Yeah, that was OSB. So we're going to do better than that. All right, I cleaned it up a little bit. Get ready for it to get ready for plywood coming in. right here is a case of tetanus waiting to happen. All right, we got the plywood. I got plenty of metal. That stuff's expensive nowadays. All right, so I just cut a piece of metal for tomorrow. Excuse me, a piece of wood. And that little saw right there is a monster. It flies through wood. Okay, making my flange, I measured the one that came out and it was seven inches. This is like 14, but I'm gonna go ahead and break it and I'm just gonna take it with me and I have a half inch lip here to fold it over and put it all together. I'm just gonna take it with me and cut it to size when I'm there. All right, so I've got everything I need. Some three-eighths, three-quarter. I got my flange built. 
and I got a piece of plywood cut to the right size. So I'm ready to go back tomorrow and get this thing done. So tune in tomorrow for the rest of that. Hopefully it's going to go pretty quick for me. This is going to turn into a two-part series. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow.